Hi students, this is Professor Gaurang Patel from Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technical Education and Research Center, Nausari. Welcome back to my lecture of Digital Control and its Applications. Okay? In last two lectures, we learned about how to convert that analog signal into the digital signal and how can we feed those data into the computer system. Okay, now in this lecture, we are discuss regarding the Z transform. Okay, Z transform play a very important role in digital control and its applications. Okay, so we will see it step by step how the Z transform is work, uh, some of the basics of the Z transform and how it is applicable to the digital control system okay okay then now before switch over to the z transform what we are doing we just take some glimpse of fourier transform as well as the laplace transform okay so here i will show you some of the equation of fourier transform and some of the equation of the laplace transform how it Okay, then we will just go to the next slide. Over here, we can see some of the introductory part of the Laplace transform as well as the Fourier transform. So, first of all, over here in this box, you can see Okay, you can see this part okay this is the part of sine fourier series we can say that so it shows that fourier transform works with the sinusoidal signal okay so in detail we can say that fourier transform tells us frequency or sinusoidal remain present in the signal okay and when we talk about the Laplace transform, Laplace transform gives us the information about the sinusoidal as well as the exponential signal remains in the function. How it will be work? We can see with some of the equations. Okay. Well, we can also say in another terms that is Fourier transform is the slice of the Laplace transform okay now I will show you these are some of the things if you want to write it down in your notebook that what I already explained to you that is uh, Fourier transforms tells us frequency or sinusoidal remain present in the signal and the next one that is the Laplace transform tells us exponential as well as sinusoidal remains in the signal or function. Okay, so how it will form, we will see over here just a minute. Okay, so when we worked with a signal, suppose we will take one of the signal that is x of t okay this is our input information or input signal that is x of t now what we are interested to find out we are find out the Fourier transform of that particular signal so for that what we have to do we have to integrate all the signal from minus infinity to infinity and it will be multiplied with exponential of minus j omega t dt okay this process will give us the transformation of uh, just a minute transformation into x omega that is the Fourier transform we can consider this equation 
as the basic Fourier equation where x of t that is we consider as an input and x of omega that is we consider as our output okay so i hope you understand how this equation comes into the picture i will just show you in another slide the same thing that is the equation of fourier transform as we discussed that is which is the input part that is the x of t that is the input part and that is x of omega that is the output of that particular signal which we had taken okay so here we can see input x of t here input x of t is function of time obviously we can see it and output is a function of x omega okay so which tells you the width sinusoidal is present in your signal okay understand what i want to what i want to say okay so in next slide we can see how it will be work that will going to be give you a better understanding okay so this is the equation of fourier transform what we already seen okay so what it suggests that if you put pure cosine curve that is your pure cosine curve as input okay that is your input if you put pure cosine curve as your input then your output is one spike of the cosine curve okay that is your output you can see that is the one spike of your cosine curve so that means you can see how the fourier transform simplifies that particular signal that we want to investigate okay okay uh, i hope you understand what is the fourier transform and how it will be work now we will move towards the z transform before move towards it uh, we just uh, have some overview regarding those uh, statements that is uh, input x of t that is the function of time and output x of omega that is the function of omega and next one that is if you put pure cosine curve as input then output is one spike of the cosine curve that what i explained to you already okay now what we are interested we are interested to move towards the z transform okay so i will just write that down over here that is z z transform okay so basically what is z prime transform do okay it will convert the time domain signal into the frequency domain signal it is very important statement okay z transform does the time domain signal into the frequency domain signal or it will convert the time domain to the frequency domain the next term that is z transform is applicable to discrete time system only okay it is applicable to the discrete time system only that is known as dts as well okay so now when we are talking about the discrete time system then laplace transform as well as the continuous fourier transform comes into the picture okay because when you move from ctft that is a continuous fourier transform to the laplace transform that you must have to know about the j omega 
that is the real part and imaginary part as well okay so when you go from ctft to lt that means when you move ctft that is your j omega to the lt at that time sigma plus j omega comes into the picture so we can say that when we move from continuous fourier transform or ctft to laplace transform we will get from j omega to the sigma plus j omega we will just understand in a better way i will show you how it will be work okay okay uh, now we will see this in the detail okay that what i try to make you understand that is that is we are working on the z transform that is the z transform okay so basically what it does it works or it's applicable only to the discrete time system okay now when z transform comes about the same way as ctft that is the continuous fourier transform and in which variable is omega okay in ctft the variable is omega in generalized to the laplace transform okay now when ctft generalized to the laplace transform by going to j omega to sigma plus j omega we can see over here when we generalize ctf to ctft sorry into the laplace transform our j omega is generalized to sigma plus j omega that means what that is we introduce the real part sigma over here it is very important to understand okay over here we introduce the real part of the signal that in form of sigma and that is how we going from j omega that is from the fourier transform to the laplace transform that is in s domain or we can see that is a laplace transform generally we consider it is comes into the s domain okay so what does it do okay the question is what does it do it do the enlarges the capability of z transform okay to handle the wider class of si signal or system okay what it will be do it will enlarges the capability of z transform to handle the wider class of signal or system so when you control with the laplace transform or fourier transform you have just the limitation over that signal okay but in z transform you can wider your limitations okay so this was the basic motivation for going to ctft to lt that is continuous fourier transform to the laplace transform okay so these are some of the basic that we must have to know when we move towards the z transform okay uh, so we just have some of the idea regarding the fourier transform as well as the laplace transform okay these are some of the statements we can see that's what i already explained to you that is a z transform applicable to discrete time system only and z transform enlarges capabilities to handle the wider class of signal or system uh, the next we will see one by one the properties of z transform and how it will work we will also see the roc that is the region of convergence in the z transform okay in the next lecture okay thank you